a warning about pop-up coronavirus testing locations. Did you see the notice that the Public Health King County put out today about this? I haven't. No. The county fears they could put your health and information at risk. As we have vaccinated so many people in the state, sure, there's been, um, you know, this sort of tipping of the scales of supply and demand. Appointments go unfilled. The state sees a shift in demand for the COVID vaccine. For the first time, we hear from a juror in Derek Chauvin's trial, an alternate who sat in the courtroom for weeks. I mean, I, I felt their feelings, I felt their pain, I felt their guilt. Her experience and take on whether justice was served. A growing concern over a fourth wave in Washington as cases rise and openings increase at vaccination sites. Vaccine demand seems to be teetering off and a trend uh, leaders here are hoping they can change. Thanks for joining us. I'm Joyce Taylor. And I'm Mark Wrights. Good evening. Thanks for being here. So we're going to get to that in just a minute. But first, a warning about unusual COVID testing sites popping up on sidewalks and in busy parks. So here's what they look like. Health officials say the people running them don't always use the right safety equipment and the results may be inaccurate. King 5's Ted Land found one of those sites on Capitol Hill. So who's behind this, Ted? It's a California company offering free COVID tests to anyone who passes by. Public Health Seattle and King County today outlined a wide range of concerns with these sites. At the corner of Pike and Broadway, a folding table with a sign offers a free COVID test. They're just paying us to help them get more tests. Okay. Sean McCarthy Please says he's a private contractor who was hired by a California company called Community Wellness America to test people passing by. I'm not going to give my okay, insurance policy number. Okay, don't worry about that. This okay. is signature today. These sites have popped up on busy sidewalks and corners across Seattle. And it's about halfway up for four or five seconds. We found this table on the path around Green Lake, where patients filled out paperwork without much concern. What would be the point of setting this all up? What's the con? What's the trick? That's why I asked about my personal information. And yeah, there's an element of trust going on here. We tell them to open it and take out one of the swabs. And Public Health Seattle King County has a warning. Avoid these types of operations. Public Health says its staff observed people at the sites not using appropriate personal protective equipment, a safety hazard which could contaminate test samples and lead to inaccurate results. It also says patients' personal information did not appear to be secure, and there are concerns people might actually get billed for the tests. I understand there is some concern about this, though, for sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, just because we're, we're obviously not medical professionals, we're just... Yeah, you're not a nurse, or, or you don't work in the medical field? I don't. I mean, I get 20 a day. County health officials say they've expressed their concerns to Community Wellness America, but the county says it does not have regulatory authority over the operations. The State Department of Health and the Attorney General's office are now looking into it. From my understanding, it, uh, I'm not doing anything illegal. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really sure. Minutes after I questioned the testers, they packed up for the day. I called the company listed on the testing paperwork and I'm still waiting to hear back. There's also a doctor, a provider named on here. I looked him up with the state of California and several years ago his license was revoked. After several allegations against him, his license has since been reinstated. Joyce. So, Ted, patients do seem to be really trusting of these operations. Do they know where their information is actually going? Yeah, in many cases, they do not. I talked to a young man who showed up to one of the sites outside of a grocery store. He said he plans to meet up with some friends this weekend. He saw the table and thought, I should just get tested. That sounds like a good idea. I asked him if he knew anything about the operation. He, he said he really didn't. But the concern is people are taking this form, putting their names, their date of birth, their email address, uh, their address, in some cases, their insurance information without really knowing where that's going. Wow. Ted, thank you. Reporting live for us. Well, between pharmacies, clinics, and mass testing locations, there are hundreds of places in Washington where you can get safely tested for COVID. The state compiled a list, and you can search by zip code as well. Just text the word TEST to 206-448-4545 for a link. 